we could assess together its current status and what more might be done to enhance the security training of State Department personnel. If confirmed, Senator, uh, I look forward to that and thank you for your support. Great, thank you so much. And Mr. Napper, with respect to Vietnam, I, I uh, traveled on a bipartisan CODEL to Vietnam in April of 2019. Uh, it was a tremendous visit and we, we found so much interest in deeper partnerships with the United States on military cooperation. There was, there was appreciation for the U.S. role led by Senator Leahy for decades now to work on cleanup of dioxins and other contaminants at military bases in Vietnam and the, the warm welcome we received from Vietnamese officials and the Vietnamese public was very heartwarming. But uh, of, the, of the number of concerns I have about Vietnam, one that's most significant is the deplorable uh, absence of press freedom of organizations that rank countries in the world for press freedom, freedom um, put Vietnam very low on the list. A recent ranking had them 175th out of 180. One of the things that seemed pretty vibrant in 2019 was while the press was being cracked down on, there was still a pretty vibrant and open internet culture, but that's also been significantly constrained in the last two years. Um, what can the United States do? What would you do as ambassador should you be confirmed to try to promote uh, broader notions of press and uh, freedom and freedom of speech in Vietnam? Well, thank you, Senator, and, and thank you to you and your, your colleagues for the great support that Congress has provided our bilateral relationship over the years. Uh, as for uh, press freedoms and other freedoms of Vietnam, I fully agree. Uh, we have serious, serious concerns. This is something that if confirmed, I will make a focus of mine. Uh, I think one way uh, we can seek to improve the situation is just to never miss an opportunity to raise uh, with senior Vietnamese officials our, our deep concerns and to underline the point that our relationship uh, will never reach its full potential unless we're able to see improvements in some of these areas, whether it's freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly. Uh, as you noted, the internet is increasingly a contested area for these basic freedoms. And uh, you know, among the messages we can deliver to the government of Vietnam is that uh, they have signed on to a number of international treaties in which they've committed to support uh, universal rights, such as those of freedom and assembly. And so I think a point uh, we can strongly make is that uh, should Vietnam uh, seek to earn its place in the international community as a leader, it's going to have to abide by some of the commitments it's made internationally. Last thing I'll say about the U.S.-Vietnam relationship is one of the powerful, I think, attractors of the U.S. relationship to Vietnamese people is their deep concern about China and the historic animosity that uh, they've had because of Chinese incursions into Vietnam. Um, shortly before our visit, there were massive protests all around Vietnam that were a little bit unusual, street protests, and they were fomented by the Communist Party leadership of Vietnam uh, prepping to do sort of a sweetheart deal where China and Chinese companies would be able to come into an economic zone uh, without really uh, any competition from anyone else. And it was, it was notable to see that the Vietnamese government wanted to do it, that the Vietnamese people took to the streets to stop them from doing it, and that at least in some temporary way, it caused the Communist Party leadership of Vietnam to step back. Um, th there is a deep desire for deeper relationship with the United States to be a counterpoint to a China that has been so often an aggressor against Vietnam, and that's important for us to know, and it's important for us to uh, contemplate as we seek to build a deeper relationship with Vietnam. Uh, I look forward to working with all of you, should you be confirmed, very high qualified panel. Thank you, I yield back. Thank you. Uh, Senator Haggerty. Thank you, Senator Cardin, and uh, congratulations to each of you for 